why don't spiritual gurus leave the charity part to Bill Gates and go <laughs> on with spiritual teachings? But are we, on a serious note, Sadhguruji, are we somewhere confusing our people? A spiritual leader is supposed to be spiritually enlightening people and not continuously ca crossing paths into charity sometimes, offering solutions sometimes, making a political comment sometimes. I mean, what is this all about? Is this more to be, you know, more well-known? Be, <laughs> make a, just create a controversy and be well-known or uh, what exactly is this? I don't want to comment about any individual, but generally, whether you're political or spiritual or you're in a commercial venture or you're doing nothing, you're citizen of this nation. You have rights and responsibilities of being in this country. Each person, according to his understanding of his rights and responsibility and his intelligence and capability, should act to better everything around us because we are all benefiting from the platform of nationhood, isn't it? We are not living away from it. Just because I'm spiritual, I'm not walking in the sky, I'm still dri dri driving on the road. If the road is a mess, should I not talk about it? I'm asking. Right now we got stuck in the traffic for ten minutes. It's so simple, there's not enough automobiles on the road for the road, the width of the road. But because everybody is driving so haphazardly, it is a mess. So should I not talk about it? Because it is uh, impeding in my spiritual activity also, the traffic jam <laughs> So similarly, people are malnourished in the village, should I not talk about it? Because if they're malnourished, if they're not even eaten properly, should I talk to them about enlightenment? It's obscene, I will not do such things. When somebody is hungry, I will not go and tell them, you must get enlightened, that is a solution. <laughs> no, I think he must be given fundamental thing to eat. So the question is about life. The question is not about area of function that you have chosen. If you want to enhance life, all aspects are involved. Somebody wants to get directly into political space, I would not do that. Not because I think it's wrong, simply because it doesn't agree with my aesthetics, that's all. My focus is elsewhere, my competence is elsewhere, so I focus on that. But somebody wants to stand for election, let's say somebody who's wearing saffron clothes, wants to stand for election, it's his prerogative. As a citizen of this India, he has the right to do that. I don't think we should get overly perturbed about these things. If he has earned people's respect, it will happen, otherwise it won't work. In all these things, are all spiritual people perfect people? Unfortunately, they're not. But it is not necessary to go on making this judgment. Let Bill Gates do it. You wait for Bill Gates to make hundred billion dollars, then come and give it to you, it's just stupid. Everybody has to do the best they can do, wherever they can do, only then something will happen. You want an American business success to come to India and do charity for you, you must be ashamed even to say that. Every one of us, whether you can help one or ten or hundred or a million is just a question of your capability, but everybody must do what is needed in the society, isn't it? <laughs>